Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, if this is your first time in this channel, welcome to the Good Word Project. Here I create content around productivity tips on professional enablers like emails, PowerPoint, Excel, Word and a bunch of other stuff. If you like this video, make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Now let's get started with today's topic, something which has grown to astronomical proportions over the last couple of years, but something that has been a part of human existence forever, anxiety. At times we can feel stress and anxiety at levels that can have a significant impact on our lives and also on the people around us. You may have felt so overwhelmingly stressed that you couldn't complete the exam paper or couldn't make a presentation at work in a manner you would have liked to. And like a lot of other things in life, stress and anxiety if not managed on time can become a habit and a new way of life, but a really suboptimal one and definitely something that can leave us feeling horrible, leave aside the fact that we would not be anywhere close to our happiest and productive best. In many cases, it may become difficult to do even simple tasks like taking a shower or listening to the person sitting next to you and talking to you because you are too overwhelmed by your anxious thoughts. Here are some daily habits that can help reduce your stress and manage anxiety better. Number one, sleep. It is vital to our mental health that we get enough sleep every single night. Sleep deprivation can impact our anxiety for the worse. It's not just the quantity of sleep that is important, it is as much about the quality as well. What's minimum? Research says 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep every night is a minimum for most adults. So check your watch right now. If it is past your bedtime, stash the phone away, make your bed and go to sleep. Now let's come to tip number 2. Tip number 2, Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra is an ancient technique where the practitioner enters deep states of conscious relaxation. It is a systematic practice of moving awareness from our external world to the inner world. This is a practice which is gaining popularity with every passing day. A practice that requires practically nothing except guided audio, which is easily available in YouTube and other streaming platforms. I will put the link of a guided 10-minute yoga nidra session in the description box below. I have used this myself multiple times over the last couple of years before critical meetings and in moments where I have experienced flashes of anxiety. Now let's come to tip number three. Tip number three is stretching. Stretching and walking are low intensity workouts that can be customized to anyone's level of fitness. When we stretch, we do a lot of things for the body and mind concurrently. Number one, it makes the body and thoughts slow down. The slower our breath gets, the more relaxed our bodies and minds get. Number two, as we move the muscle groups in a full body stretching, we identify the parts of the body which are holding stress and require more stretching. And number three, as we become more and more aware of our mind and body, we become more and more aware of the present rather than dwelling in the past or the future in our thoughts. As we live more in the present, we automatically enable stress levels to calm down. So that's what today's video was about. Please let me know your favorite modes of relaxation and bringing down stress in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.